have a nice intro here, but uh, we are in a kind of a predicament here where Lady Redfield has to be sneaky to avoid collateral damage. Now, I think if we stand here, there could be a chance that this big idiot won't see us stalking around. Yeah, you big idiot, keep going that way. You will never know what kind of Valkyrie got in the back. The Valkyrie Redfield, bitch! time we play this game we end up exactly that door but I have to stop playing and come back to the game now I see another one over there but there is a dog in the floor I think they can fool me come on you little shit Saw me too, damn it. Hey, you fucking bastard, are you gonna come here or what? Thank you. I suggest you to shoot these guys in the leg when they're running and like, fall like an idiot. Damn it. Almost fooled me. Okay, Mora, time for you to shine. This is the best way to kill these guys without wasting bullets. One more diamond head to go. And then the whole Silent Hill is gonna be ours. There's nothing behind you, buddy. There's nothing here. So, any old school Resident Evil fan knows that they had to combine those two together for a more powerful version of the healer. Another fucking dog cunt. Hey, little doggy.
The little mysterious girl. It's that girl. Yeah, we saw her in the prison. She has a bracelet. Natalia. You think she's part of the experiment? If the overseer is trying to scare little kids too, then that is seriously messed up. You mean seriously fucked up? We all know that she is. Because the Resident Evil is very strong in this one. Okay, now I got Explody Bomb. That's good. They always come in handy. Making sure I don't forget anything big. Alright, Claire, let's go. Nice, checkpoint. I bet Natalia went that way. Hmm. Only a small little creature like her can fit there. There's always blood stains all over the place. This Resident Evil is great set in the, uh, the fucked up looking scenarios, you know. It's a great, great game, man. A true Resident Evil. Hmm, there's a room over there. Course. All right, Lady Claire, let's find poor Natalia. Something there. Something big and shovy. Something I haven't dealt with before. Right there. I wonder if he's gonna jump at us exactly when I open the door. Damn it! Yeah, it's a big bitch. No, not this way, this way. Shit, clear. That's a disgusting blob. Go away, you putrid shit. Damn it. At least it didn't blow up in my face. It's exactly what I was trying to avoid. Man, everything that looks like a morgue always gives me the goddamn... Where? Where? Shit. Of course, it has to be one of those. Come on, Gafgun. You little bitch. Why the AI has to sit down there and take the damage, man? Should be able to avoid more of the damage. This shit. Okay, you're gonna get the SMG, you little bitch. You're gonna get it. I'm gonna sit the fuck down. Big ugly cunt. Diamond head. I mean, pyramid head. <laughs> Silent Hill and Resident Evil. We're always going to be sisters and brothers in love.
Mark experiment results, November 8. The latest mark moves us even closer to the real test. This time, 11 candidates were filled with the sensor of bracelets, then subjected to extreme emotional stress for varying length of time. Results? Three die immediately. The remaining eight eventually mutated at some point and were disposed of. The trial ended with none of the subs overcoming their fear. So the set it was only one page. You got to love those Resident Evil books, man. They always manage to give you the shivers. There's a table here. Hmm. That's for Natalia, that little chest. Another one for her. Hey, how come you didn't shine before? By the way, I switched to Mora's, um... Wait, what I'm doing? I switched to Mora's, um... Outfit. Um... The one that says survival, because I think it, after, you know, it looks cooler. And after you play a while the game, it makes sense that you will look more like this. More like survival, you know, survivalist. Yeah, small hand. I guess we don't have a smaller hand enough for that. Alright, sexy Claire. Let's pay attention to what is around us. Blood stains all over the place. Another one of these. Now it's unlocked. I'm expecting something bad to jump at me right now. Oh, I get it. I think... Yeah, that's the one we already killed, right? We are looping back to the same area for the beginning. Shit, the fuck is that sound? Yeah, we're back to the same. Okay, I get it now. Oh, it's one of those that close too fast, huh? Wait. Okay. Got an idea. It's gonna be all Resident Evil Zero style. It doesn't stay open long. We're gonna have to be quick to get through. Love it, man. Alright, all right, you go. I'm so happy that this formula for Resident Evil Zero is back in this game. Got to be kidding me. Got to... <sighs> All 
alright, alright, that, that wasn't too bad. I thought it would fucking corner me. Blow it on my face. I was like, what the fuck, Capcom is stinky, man. Are they gonna put that monster when you are so cornered here? Unless you run and jump in that hole, I guess, but... Can't do this alone. Hmm. Now I think I know what to do. I have to put the box blocking the way of this door, the gate. I mean, I guess it can fit through the door, right? Hope it does. Alright, Mora. Time for you to, you know, hit the switch. Let me just make sure, okay. Hope it works. It's the only way it should work. Come on. Great game, Capcom. Great game. You done it one more time. Another great epic game for your list. For your legacy of great games. Follow me. On my way.
Where'd she run off to? Well, I got the feeling something nasty may jump out of the elevator. Hmm. Shit. Miss, sucker. Miss again. Suck it. Hmm. Damn it. You're gonna get the flashlight, buddy. Get him, Valkyrie Claire! Yeah! Fucking love Claire Redfield, man. She's truly the sister of, of Chris Redfield. Indeed she is. Right, Mora, got something for you to do. Popping that shit. Well, I guard the area here. You ready for this, Mora? No, you're not. I always like to take the flash the, the flashlight out in case. I really think he attracts even more the enemies when you got the flashlight on. Hmm, leads on Natalia. Oh yeah. Well let me go to the workbench now and see what is this. Quick load, level two. Not too shabby, but we we'll really prefer damage. Actually, I don't mind to have a load, uh, a slow loading on the weapon, cause it really increases the tension of the game when when you're trying to reload a weapon and a fucking enemy is about to jump on your face, you know. Reminds me a lot. Oh wait, town residence memo, written in Russian. Things have changed so much since she came here. Our savage is almost like a completely different island now. There's new equipment in the mines, and the jobs not sure laborer, laborers, but she's employ. Now she's em she's employing people at research as well. There are so many. Em employment opportunities. I cannot express my gratitude to her deeply enough. Despite this, there are those who doubt her. Such ingrates, if you don't like it, you're always free to leave this place. That's exactly what we're trying to do. Leave this unholy place of hell. But first, we need to stop the Resident Evil. Anyway, sorry if I'm getting really choppy when I read those letters. I am sitting a little bit away from the screen and sometimes it's kind of hard to read depending on the words and depending on the type of, you know, the way that it's written. Now, where do we go? I'm trying to make sure I don't leave anything in this floor before we use the elevator. We need a drill to go to that door, if I remember. Yeah, a drill. Right, sexy Claire. Let's go in the elevator.
It's okay. Don't be scared. What's your name? Where are you from? <sighs> Did that lady put you here? Where are Whoa. you? Whoa, down, Claire. Let me talk to her. You must be so scared. I know I am. My name's Moira. See? We're like sisters. Everything's okay now. What's your friend's name? Lottie. You're both so brave. You're pretty good with kids. Come on. Okay. So you managed to stay away from the monsters all by yourself? Uh-huh. You're a brave girl, but this will all be over soon. Listen, there's a bad lady in the tower out there. Once we take her out, we can all leave the island together. <laughs> Claire is like, you're really good with the, with the kids. Ah, uh, man. I guess Claire, she's just, you know, too badass to talk. Softly, softly, like the way Mora does. Poor little Natalia, man. <laughs> she's always so afraid. Something about Natalia, man, is, is she seems like she's a ancient soul trapped into a, you know, kid's body. Another of this. Natalia, she's a very interesting character. She's not the typical little girl, you know. She's not the typical Ashley from Resident Evil 4 crying for help all the time like a little bitch I think she's my least like character from the whole Resident Evil universe fucking Ashley Ashley Grams is the last name I think but ugh she really ruins me oh my fucking god Moira did you hear that? no shit yeah another one of those walking shit stains sorry I mean butt stains and you know what we do to butt stains. Yeah, I was going to say that characters like her really ruin my experience of Resident Evil 4. Like, I love the game, but she makes me feel like I cannot stand the game it's because of her. It's just way too stereotypically annoying and mainstream and stupid for my taste, you know. I can say I like uh, Mo Mora a hell of a lot better, you know. She, uh, she's a cool girl. Mora and Natalia. Both of them are really, really likable. Hmm. I don't need to use this table yet. Right, girls and girls, hope you're ready for this. Because the evil Follow me. Yeah, is awaiting.
What the hell is doing this? Whatever it is, just really got a bad feeling about it. What is Natalia doing up there? <laughs> Poor little girl, man. You better stay there, Natalia. 